So I have done uh, more than 1000 kilometers on the bike after uh, doing all the mods. I thought I would uh, give an update on how well it has worked. I have used the bike in uh, on the rain, uh, extreme heat. So as you can see, uh, I have ridden the bike in a little uh, in uh, rainy conditions and uh, the mods have held really well the bike has done uh, more than uh, 2000 kilometers now so the front mud flap has done its job really well uh, as you can see my feet now stays really clean uh, when I'm riding in the rain and also uh, the engine stays clean the radiator stays clean definitely uh, nothing gets hit on the radiator now uh, but also the cylinder block and uh, most of the casing uh, doesn't get uh, mud water splashed on you whereas the catalytic converter as you can see does get dirty uh, there is nothing I can do about it the front number plate also um, hasn't hit the mud guard the mirrors they are a direct fit so they don't affect in any way but the visibility I feel is better than the uh, stock mirrors that's just my opinion the biggest uh, talking point would be the uh, rear fender now unfortunately this fender doesn't really work well in uh, rainy conditions People who are uh, commuting on this bike on daily basis, they are better off with the stock wheel hugger. As uh, what is happening now is the rear seat will definitely be clean. But what happens is the wheel uh, flings so much water over over the rear uh, rear uh, pillion seat that your uh, back above the shoulder level will get uh, splashed by the uh, rain water so this seat will be clean but anything over it I think about this height is where the uh, rain water would get splashed so if you are planning to uh, ride this bike in the rain uh, I would advise you to use a rear wheel hugger this setup is not going to work well uh, it can be really annoying to ride the bike in such a way as you will be totally wet if you are not wearing a raincoat, it is further, further a disaster to ride the bike. Your helmet will get dirty, your shoulder, anything above your shoulder will get dirty, will get the rainwater with this setup. Uh, the looks, looks wise, I feel it looks really good. Uh, I have tried uh, various different uh, tail tidies. The, the way this is supposed to go, I have tried uh, mounting this uh, in the in the way this is supposed to go, and even that doesn't uh, help much. That uh, that uh, that uh, particular setup is worse than what I currently have, uh, and I have uh, uh, with that setup uh, the number plate frame uh, broke as the wheel hit the uh, frame. So with this setup, uh, the wheel doesn't uh, hit the number plate frame. Uh, it's relatively safe. I didn't have any problem with the cops, even though it doesn't have a, a number plate uh, light. Here in India, it's mandatory to have the number plate light, but I didn't have a problem with the cops. Uh, and what else? Yeah, I upgraded the brake brake pads to the sintered. Uh, brake pads that the 390 has uh, these brake pads what you can see these brake pads are actually the sintered uh, brake pads uh, that the 390 comes with uh, the reason why I uh, got them is because the the stock brake pads were okay but uh, they didn't have a lot of stopping power so with these with this uh, brake pad you can actually 
stop stop the bike uh, relatively fast and easily you don't have to uh, put the brake using you know, more than two fingers you can stop the bike at around 100 kph using just the front brake using two fingers uh, so here is the engine casing from this side exhaust is clean i have shifted the horn over the radiator this is not the stock horn this is from the ktm the stock horn uh, is too big to fix it above the radiator so that's it everything else is as it was the bike has been uh, performing uh, really well i haven't had any issues with it i've done the first service bike has done around 2500 kilometers